Hey guys, Joster here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video right here with the Sony X900H. This is the 55 inch version and I finally got my hands on the PlayStation 5. Yes! So this is the uh, digital edition. This is actually the model that I was looking for because you know, honestly, I don't like to buy any more physical discs. They just take space for me. And then um, besides that, you still have to download the content to your internal hard drive. So it is, to me, honestly, I just prefer digital. I don't have to worry about losing the discs or maybe getting damaged. Or maybe uh, some friend wants to ask me to borrow it and I never see that game back. So everything digital for me, it works perfectly fine. I have everything saved on my hard drive. And on top of that, I feel like this console looks much better than the physical, the one with the physical disc. I just don't like the extra bump that it has right there. I think this one looks beautiful. I like it. It's still very big compared to the Xbox uh, Series X. And, but I like it. You know, it looks pretty sophisticated. It looks awesome. So anyways, guys, in this video, I'm going to connect it with the Sony X900H. And I'm going to show you some of my personal settings and also some of the problems that I've been dealing with using this TV. And I'll just show you in the video. All right, guys. So welcome to the channel. I'm Joster and let's do this. All right, guys. So let me start by going to the PlayStation settings. So I'm going to show you what uh, features or settings I turn on or what I'm using here. Let's go into settings. Let's go into the screen and video. Here we have the video output information. In this uh, section, all these features are in automatic. Okay, resolution, 4K video transfer rate, HDR, and everything. You can also adjust the HDR from here if you need to do those changes. Let's go into video output inf information. 3840, 2160 at 60 hertz. This TV also supports 120 hertz. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Uh, and then there's like, all the information, color, format, and everything. So let's go back, right? And it, then let's go to save data in game app settings. So this is where you change to 120 hertz or 120 FPS. Games presets, and then we're going to go into performance mode or resolution mode. And then here you can change to either performance mode or resolution mode. I have it on game default. But uh, this is where you have to go and change, make this change if you're playing in 120 hertz. Remember, not every single game has this option available. I believe only uh, Call of Duty Cold War and also Dirt 5 have uh, 120 FPS support. But this is where you need to go and make this change. Now, I don't know why Sony decided to make this in, in this other setting option instead of having in the screen and video. I don't know, it's kind of confusing, but that's how you do it. Either way, I don't have any, any game that support that 120 FPS as of right now. Maybe I'll do that in another video. But right now, let's go into Spider-Man. This is Miles Morales. And let me tell you guys, this game looks fantastic on this TV. Remember, this is the Sony X900H 55-inch model. It supports Dolby Vision, HDR10, uh, 120 hertz panel, good colors. Also, I'm gonna share you. You know what? Actually, let's let me share you my my color settings or my yes. I'm using game mode on this TV. Let's go into the settings. Yes, game mode, so I can have the lowest input like possible. Then let's go into the picture settings. I'm using HDR right now. As you guys can see on the top right, it has the HDR logo and I'm using game mode. Now, remember guys, before I continue with this, these are my own personal settings. If I'm sharing this with you, it's just to maybe you can use this, but I always, always recommend to use the one that works best for you. Okay. This worked very good for me, but if you have other you know, other everybody is different, so just use whatever you need. Over here in brightness, I have a maximum HDR. I'm always trying to get the max brightness possible. Contrast, I have it. This is uh, at 90, the value. 
I believe this is out of the box. Gamma is in the, um, the middle, everything balanced. Black levels in the middle as well. Black adjust, I have this option at low. You also have medium and high. Honestly, I don't see any difference that, uh, that affects. I think it does make more difference when you're using SDR mode, but I still have it in low. Over here, contrast enhancer. Now this one does make a difference. It makes the picture brighter, but at the same time, you lose some dark details. So that's why I keep it at low. Over here, auto local dimming, I have always this one and high. If you turn this off, the whole screen will get very, well, kind of dim. So brighter uh, screen, you wanna use this in high. Extended dynamic range, this, I have this one on high because I want to get the most out of HDR as well. Now over here in color, this is where I start to make some changes. Let me, let me keep something clear. This doesn't add any input lag, all right? So just to be clear, I'm gonna show you the input lag levels that this TV have. So you guys will be will know for sure. Over here I have color temperature and expert one. I find like this is the most balanced and colorful um, option. Live color, I have this one on high. <clears throat> and like I said, if you want so, some more vibrant colors, a little bit saturated, not oversaturated, I recommend to use this one on high. Now for SDR, turn this one down to low because otherwise you will have oversaturation on your colors. But in HDR, I use this option in high. Now over here in clarity, uh, sharpness is at 50. Reality creation, I have this one in automatic. Now I do notice that the image is a little soft when you turn this off. When you turn it on, you either have it in manual, you can have this one at 10, or if you have it in automatic, it works the same. I use it and it doesn't add input lag, but I do notice that the image does get a little sharper. So once again, this is my own personal uh, decision to use this and it doesn't add input lag. I'm gonna show you that in just a bit. Then let's go into motion. Now motion does add input lag a lot. That's why there is no option here on game mode. Remember all these options that are available are because they don't increase or they do increase. If they do increase input lag, it's just a little tiny bit. But if they're not available, it's because they they do increase a lot of input lag. That's why they just don't give you the option. Now over here in motion flow, you do have the, uh, the option of using uh, this. It's sort of like BFI or black frame insertion. Honestly, I don't use it. I don't like it. It's uh, to me, it adds some flickering and I do see it. So it's best for sports. Now over here, video signal is just going to give you the information. HDR mode is automatic. HDR video range is automatic. Color space is in automatic. That is how I use this options. All right, guys. So here is the device. This is a little button to check the input lag. I connected the to the port that I'm using as a game mode. And I'm just show you right here. There it is. So it's on game mode, HDMI port number four. Now um, let's go and test, go ahead and test the input lag. So we're gonna press this button. Sometimes these batteries, there it goes. So right now <laughs> the input lag is going to be 14.7 milliseconds, 15.5. It, uh, you know, it fluctuates between that 14 and 15 milliseconds. So, and that is with the settings that I just share with you. Now, guys, remember that if you want to, for example, turn enhance mode on this TV, this is what you got to do because out of the box, this TV is in standard mode on the HDMI ports. So you want to go to settings, all right? And then you want to go to um, watch TV. And then you're gonna go down to external inputs. And then you're gonna to go to HDMI signal format, the last option over here. And this, as you guys notice, HDMI one, two, three, and four, all of them are in enhanced option. Over here, I'm using HDMI number four in this enhanced format. This is where you change from standard to enhanced format or enhanced format for Dolby Vision. You have two options. Make sure you use the enhanced format 
that way you can take advantage of 4k and 120 hertz otherwise this dolby vision is only for dolby vision <laughs> that's what it says standard format is only 4k 60. now you only find these options in hdmi point three uh hdmi port three and port four not in one and two over here actually you do have it <laughs> you do have it here number two but this is for only 4k 60. okay same with one 4k 60. all right but three and four are hdmi 2.1 okay so that's where you do this change i hope this helps guys and let's play some some of this one did you guys want to see some performance god damn this game it's awesome at running at 60 fps oh my god what a difference what a world of a difference this makes i'm loving it yeah this is one of those uh, games that you must get when you're playing when you're buying the playstation oh sick oh shit oh oh yank it oh sick. i'm really learning so i'm just following whatever is telling me oh whoa oh sweet oh it won what oh i forgot about this power yes all right guys so now we're playing ghost ghost of tsushima i love this game this is another exclusive playstation game and I believe this game also received a new update because it is running much smoother, smoother than the uh, the previous version while I was playing on the Xbox. Not on the Xbox, what the hell? I was playing on the PlayStation 4 Slim. But uh, now on the PS5, well, you know, honestly, it looks almost the same, but it's just, it feels like it's performing better. Oh, what do we have here? Oh! What are you guys doing? Oh my goodness. Oh, okay, okay, okay. This is getting serious. Ay. Ay, Dios mío, ¿qué está pasando aquí? Oh, yes. You be scary. Oh my god, Jolster. You better not mess with me. Oh man, this game looks fantastic and it also performs great. Where's my horse? Come here, come here, trusty horse. Well, anyways, guys, the settings that I'm using also work great with this uh, game. Of course, it's uh, isn't with HDR, but I also what I noticed. I don't know if you guys had encountered this problem, especially when you have this combo of the Sony X900 HTV with a PlayStation 5. But what happened to me is that for the I've been playing for the last couple of days with no issues. But today, as a matter of fact, today I was uh, I noticed that there was no sound. There was no sound when I turned on the TV and the PlayStation, and I I could not figure out why. I also I'm also using the Nakamichi soundbar just in case, just for reference. But either even even if I change the sound or switch the sound to the TV. I wouldn't get anything so I was trying to figure this out and what I noticed is that the sound the problem was when I'm using the enhanced HDMI 2.1 format that that's why there was no sound so as soon as I switched to standard mode then the sound came back my problem with that is that what's the point of using standard mode when I you can't use uh, HDR right so all these games you want to use HDR in the best performance possible so the only way I could figure this out was to uh, reset the TV. So basically what you have to do is you have to press and hold the power button from your TV. And look what happens. It's going to for, hold it for about 5 seconds and then it will give you the option to restart. I'm going to cancel it right now. But when you, once you restart your TV, you can either you can have the PlayStation running in the background. It doesn't matter. But it will bring the sound back. Now I noticed that this problem, uh, a lot of people ha have been having this problem, and this is the only way I could figure it out. Um, also, if 
I was, you know, trying to connect the headphones, the headset. It, it does work with the headphones, but I want to use the speakers right now. You know, the only reason I use the headphones is when I'm playing online. And that is the only way I figure how to fix this. All right, guys. So now we're going to play Days Gone. This is available on the PlayStation Plus. And this is the first time I ever played this game when it came out. I didn't get a chance to buy it or play it. This is my first time experiencing this game. So first of all, look at this loading time. It is, it takes forever. At least it takes about two or three minutes to start up this game. It just keeps loading and loading and loading. All right, so after like three minutes of loading, now I finally get to play this game. And I'm, so far I'm liking it. But uh, another issue that I notice is that, for example, some of these textures, the texture on, on the characters, for example, the tattoos on the little details on their skin and everything, they sort of like pop out uh, while I'm playing the game. So let me just get into this. It's so weird. I've never seen that before. So, you know, like, sometimes it just do, looks very blurry, and all of a sudden, the uh, details come in. Like, if it's taking forever to load up those little details. Other than that, this game looks beautiful, I gotta say that. And it also runs very smooth. I believe it's also a 60 FPS. Oh, yeah, the clues. I just started playing this game, and it looks, I like it, but... It's just so weird that uh, the PlayStation 5 is having this sort of problems. Maybe I was thinking it's just because it's loading from the hard drive. But uh, other games that I have on the hard drive, they don't have those problems either. Now, that is something that I, I wasn't very pleased with this because I'm used to playing on the Xbox Series X. And let me tell you, even games from uh, old games... They have this feature called Quick Resume, which uh, allows you to just jump into the game so fast. It is so, so fast that I got used to it. And now, you know, waiting for loading time and everything is just like, uh, you know, <laughs> it's so, it feels like a downgrade somehow. But um, either way, let me, got, let me know in the comments that if uh, you guys had had any problems with this game. So far, I've noticed it. Only on this game. Days gone. Holy macro. What the heck? What? I also don't like this sort of, you know, when there's a sequence in this game, there's a blackout screen. You guys notice that? There you go. There's another one. It's like, why do they do that? It does. I don't know. I just don't like that. I'm so used to everything running so fluent, but I don't know. Maybe it's just this, this game does this. That's how this game is. Either way, guys, I don't want to make this video so long, too long, but there's so many other games that I want to test and, and check it out for you. Uh, so I'm probably going to make a second video on this. So let me know in the comments which games you guys want to see. Maybe some Warzone, right? Maybe some racing games you guys want to see here with this TV. And also, uh, just try those settings that I share with you. Let me know if it works. And um, yeah, that's it for this video, guys. I'm Jolster. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this kind of content. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Joster out.